look so, beautiful, darling. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah, there isn't like a little thing. I think I heard him wrong. Interesting. I'm, I'm lounging like drawing like one of your French girls shit right now. So I mean, no, I'm like I'm like Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. Oh, you wish. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. This is so interesting because I, I don't have like a um, a frame of reference on like the two. Oh, I didn't uh, mean it meanly. To see, like if it's actually streaming, I just have to accept the fact that it says recording. Twenty-eight seconds in. Like okay, I'm, I imagine it's recording. Hey. Oh yes, hey guys. Three, <laughs> two, one. Hey. Hey. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Did We're you just open your mouth? <laughs> He's big. Uh, to be fair, I started with a hey, and it just very quickly devolved. Hey. Uh, all right, guys. Well, um. Better not be banana. Well. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to the uh, continuation of our Diablo oh, campaign. Oh, banana! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? She, she ate a banana bean. <laughs> okay. She picked up a yellow jelly belly, said, I hope this isn't banana, ate it, realized it was banana, and made a grotesque noise. And said, it's banana! <laughs> that was the noise I was talking about. Proceed. Uh, proceed. So, um... Hi, welcome uh, to Victory and uh, Defeat. I'm still calling it Victory and Defeat because that's the name of the game. It's the name of the game as well as the name of the channel that we're not streaming on anymore. V and D, D and D. Nah, fuck that. V and D, Victory and Defeat. So yes, um, hi, Jeff, you're a DM and creator here. <laughs> Flash your business card. <laughs> Flash your business card. There we go. Um, thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, we've taken a bit of a hiatus and and. Um, a little bit of the confusion that's stirred by changing mediums. So we're no longer streaming live. As you can probably tell because by the time that this is posted, you've clicked on a YouTube video that clearly does not labeled as live. So hmm. there's that. All right. Sounds a bit redundant. So this is, I, I don't even know what episode this is, to be honest. I think 10, I think 10 was the last one that we did. No, I don't, th I don't think it was that high. I think we were at 8. No. But I'm not sure now. Yeah, I know, right? Somebody this is check. Weird. So welcome to like episode question mark. like like ten or eleven, I guess. <laughs> Something. Welcome to episode anywhere between eight and twelve. There you go. There you go. Three. <laughs> welcome A combination to episode of three. three and five. One, um, two, five, three, sir. Three. Yes. So um, as you can as you can see, um, uh, JD JD. A combination of Jenny and Katie. Fuck? Well, I was gonna say Jenny has um, taken over Katie, <laughs> as she is sitting in Katie's spot. But it's okay because Katie's not here. So yeah. So I'd like. I thought I'd like to see everybody. I can't uh, see him. But, well, yeah. But previously, on the Diablo campaign, um, the party found themselves at the base of the tree of Inifus and was attacked by a few large brutes. <laughs> they uh, overcame these brutes and then we ended session. <laughs> I, get out my I get out my debarker and go up the tree and go, yes. now this is going to hurt you more than it hurts me. Mm -hmm. And I skin the beast of wood. Mm -hmm. You acquire a large sheet <laughs> of inifus bark. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> you got some Edelweiss bark. What? Edelweiss. Oh, Edelweiss. Yes. Um, do I, hate, I hate to be terribly redundant because I do this every time, but it says volume about 100. Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. Um, he's also leaning back further away from his computer than normal, I think, but that's okay. As long as he's there comfortable. There you go. That's better. Is that better? That's, that's much better. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this view of your forehead. I'm just going to go and leave it like this now because it's just hilarious to me. <laughs> you brought this point yourself. Yeah, I did. I really did. Um, but he's he's much louder and clearer now. He is much louder. Louder, clouder, much Cl louder, louder and leerer. You're really a clouder of cats. Oh well. A clouder of cats. But uh, I put it in my inventory. But before Perfect. I do, I try to see if I can actually like feel the energetic, like, metaphysical, energetic presence of the metaphysical senses that I really am acute with. That was extremely well said. Thank you. Yeah, the bark feels magical. Excellent. 
Wow. <laughs> you, okay, so I you, tried to align my you. chakras uh, yeah. with a pure flow, and um, not a heavy flow. Um, no, and that I, sucks. Yeah. So I <laughs> actually not a good Should time to suck. Should I describe it? Oh. Um, not a good time to suck actually at that time. But anyway, um, I <laughs> what the fuck is happening with this? Session? Hello, YouTube. How are you? <laughs> uh, I <laughs> doing good. <laughs> How are you thinking about marker news? But sure. Um, yeah. I put it in my inventory. <laughs> look back at my two compatriots because apparently soul disappeared into a black hole, and I. But she does that from time She's to time. picking flowers again. And I shrug at them, and I say, "All right, where are we going?" Okay. You do feel a strange, mysterious energy coming off of the bark of the tree of Memphis. Much I can't as tell. the rest of the tree. The rest of the tree still is a little bit brighter looking than the rest of the trees within this dark grove known as the dark wood. Oh, um, handy. I look up at Big and I say, "Should I burn this tree to the ground?" I cast fire on the tree. No. Actually, I get a magical sense of this tree if it's more um, intelligent than other trees. 20. You draw on your magical energies and what, what you, you get your, um, <laughs> your spiritual connection with wooded areas mm -hmm. uh, because you're a satyr. Um, you know, without a doubt, that this tree is actually an intelligent life form. I stare at it blunt, uh, blankly. It is aware, and you know that the tree is aware of its surroundings. Mm -hmm. Don't burn it. I will stare at it blankly. It's going to hurt. I put my wand, or my staff away, very slowly, and I go, I'm sorry. I'm disturbed. And then You're I like leave the bark forest. And <laughs> I apologize to the tree. You hear a disembodied voice in your head asking, why do you feel disturbed? Or, sorry. Why do you feel disturbed? Disturbed, 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 disturbed. I look, I look up at Big and go, did you, did you hear that? Did I? Because I can get no. tickets to system of a down. I look around all confused like, Big? Like, suddenly concerned that there's something else here. I look at the tree and I go, because I almost burnt you down, but more so I'm feeling guilty about the possibility of almost burning you, you down. Didn't, you didn't burn. I didn't. However, I use my humor and callousness as a shield against the fact that I feel very lonely inside. Wow, you're getting a lot out of me right now, tree. Please tell me he's saying all of this. The tree's like therapy bill comes out of the roots. <laughs> I love how you don't check the number. Because <laughs> it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Because you know it doesn't matter. It's a 19. Yeah. Oh, it's a 19. It's you a said it very clearly. Um, <sighs> I said it so well, soul heard me. And you're dragging her black hole. In her black soul. Her black soul. <laughs> the tree speaks to your mind again. And informs you that it does not understand um, humanoid emotions. And the idea of burning down is something that is very curious about. Because it doesn't understand, like, like the pain that would come from burning. Like, you were getting that this... That this tree is like intelligent, but it is also disconnected from its physical self. Like it is an enchanted tree. Hmm. I put my hand on the naked part of the bark because the bark was it was debarked, and so I put my I put my hand on the epidermis, if you will, <laughs> of the tree, and I'm just like the flow. I did you ask for where do you learn these words? <laughs> Man, I pay attention to biology class two All years ago. Book and I'm lying. I don't know if that's actually the word. I soak my hand in chloroform and I knock myself out. Not oh, kidding. Oh, I um. <laughs> you don't have chloroform. Over your own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I put my hand on the naked part of the tree and I go. I will not harm you. If you know what harm is. If you don't, I'm leaving anyway. So, thank you for the talk. 
Please don't linger in my head. This might be very discombobulating. The tree informs you that it is aware of what harm is, just doesn't understand what harm would feel like. I will not share that with you. Okay. <laughs> just imagine also, kind of throwing his hands up going, Meow. don't worry about me lingering. Like, I'm literally projecting myself in your... <laughs> In your mind, because you're within range of me being able to speak to you. Did you have to let it linger? No. Did you have to? I, sh- I kind of want Big to pull it up out of the ground, roots and all, and we can carry it with us so we can actually talk to this tree. I'm kidding. Let's leave. Yeah. The, the, the tree is basically like the, the creatures of this wood um, are not intelligent, so I haven't been able to have conversation with any nice. of them. And I'm very lonely. <laughs> And so at that point, we all get up and leave. Oh, God. You just got guilt tripped by a tree. By a fucking tree! That's what psychoanalyzed you. Man, that thing got you like an old Yiddish lady. It only got me because it has Jeff's voice and he knows how to get me, Tommy, as a person. I hate you. I also love that it totally lost the whole echo thing. It's just like, I'm very lonely. lonely." Well, I lost the echo thing because I'm not because I'm, I'm I'm speaking matter of factly instead of in the voice of the tree. <laughs> so it stopped being pretentious. It's like, bro, I'll level with you. Yeah. I am very lonely. I don't know what to do. <laughs> no one comes here. Because oh, very sensitive tree. Because I I can't think of the dialogue off the spot like or off the cuff that would match the intelligence of this tree. So I'm rather just informing you of what it's saying instead of speaking for itself. Or instead of, instead of speaking as if I were the tree. Whatever its intelligence, more than big as. Oh. <sighs> Basically, it's telling you all of this in a very eloquent in a very eloquent fashion. Cool. Yeah. Fashion, fashion. Fashion, fashion. <laughs> what is fashion? I don't yeah. understand fashion. Okay. Not just the fashion industry. Yeah, I want be. to leave this place. Why are you here? To get the bark. Yes, I see that you have the bark, but but what purpose does my bark serve you? I want to leave, guys. (laughs) I lean down to you since I don't know this thing's talking to you, and I just kind of go, The tree (laughs) is talking to me. (laughs) I look at the tree like flabbergasted, (laughs) and just like axe, like holding it like a baby's blanket, like, Can you death sentence the tree? That if I paid mana. you money out of my wallet, would you death sentence the <laughs> no, tree? No, it wastes my mana and I like this tree. You don't know that Fuck he's it. talking I... either. Oh. You just, you, just, you just think he's having like a, a very quiet I'm conversation probably meditating. with the tree. Yeah. Guys, let's, let's rest here, because I imagine we haven't rested from the battle yeah, I have, anyway. I have you haven't rested from the battle. So, MP, so, so let's rest here, and then I can keep watch and talk to this fucking tree and make it feel better about itself before I leave it abandoned. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any nice way to say that, I'm saying that. Okay. okay. Right, we will take a pity rest near the tree. I want my MP. <laughs> well, you get your MP back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> An yes. hour goes by, and as we're all sleeping, you are gently awoken. Uh-oh. You specifically, Zen, yeah. are gently awoken by a very complex uh, interweaving of roots lifting you off the ground and acting like a type of bed for you. And you fall back asleep. Unless you literally wake up and Zen just goes like, oh my god, and leaves. No, I'll stay. I'll I'll stay in its little bramble cocoon that's probably going to kill us. But go on. (laughs) So how much longer would you all like to sleep for? for Oh, do go on. What's, What's that? Until my HP is Like half the forest is creating roots for you. <laughs> it literally brought over a bunch of the trees. It's like, bro, I need help. <laughs> you were all Fuck sleeping, you correct? Yes, for please. longer than an hour. Yes, mm. Ooh, yeah, it's on. You all, <laughs> you all get a very long rest. When you wake up, is a very cold, dewy morning, and you're all at full everything. Yes. So how much gold do I get then? Full wallet, too? 
you get an adult wallet, which holds up to 200 rupees. But the rupees here are meaningless, so you literally Good have reference. you literally have 200 meaningless objects. Excellent. I touched the tree again. Do you have anything to say? I'm sorry. Look at you were about to talk. Okay. Um, I talked to the tree again one last time, and I'm like, is there anything that I can do for you before we leave? Yeah, don't hurt me. <laughs> Fucking leave! <laughs> Get off my roots! You're sick. You slept here. The hell out of really fucking heavy. Pluto. Oh, Pluto. Oh. The tree. Come on, Minnie. <laughs> Sorry. The tree has. <laughs> um. It's the only time that the tree has actually had to think of a way to describe it to you, and given the time frame, mm -hmm. because the tree is aware that you guys are ready to leave, mm -hmm. and says, "Well, it's a rather long story, but." I was. We're about to be given a quest um, by a tree. Put a side quest by a tree. I was put in this tree. I I am an enchantment, an intelligent enchantment, and I am a projection of the caster. And I no longer have a purpose being here. And the only way that I can be free of being stuck like rooted boom to this tree I feel so tricked <laughs> as if the tree is um, destroyed because the tree is still living I am enchanting a living tree currently or yes. if you were to find the caster and have them um, disenchant me because frankly I have been here for a very long time and my purpose is essentially done. I don't know why I'm still here. What is the downside to destroying the tree? Are you going somewhere horrible after that? I don't know. And I'm curious. And my curiosity outweighs the boredom. I relay all of this information to my samurai friend and to my illiterate friend. <laughs> and now I ask, what do you all think, silent one and single word one? Um, For the record, this is so not in the game. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. One sec. I gotta, I gotta make a big determination Oh, here. dear. <clears throat> I am, I've decided that um, in my time off from doing, doing this, I'm going to be taking far more liberties with the Diablo universe. Because I think it's way more entertaining. I agree. I'm sorry. Uh, big that looks tree. at the tree. What's that? Looks at his, the big looks at big looks at the tree. Looks at his gigantic axe and puts the axe away. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt it. I'm honestly tempted to. Okay. To be completely honest, the character won't stop you from doing it though. Okay. Uh, if I could convey complex thoughts through words. I would say we do have the other option of finding the caster, and that sounds intriguing. I do ask the tree, do you know where this cast One, do you know how long you've been in here? Because <clears throat> if it's like been a hundred years, the caster's dead, I'm sorry. Two, <coughs> do you know where the caster went after he placed you in this tree? I am not aware of where the caster is or where he went. I am a projection of his mind at the time when he en enchanted this tree. So therefore I'm not currently connected to his thoughts. Okay. Otherwise that would be a terrible draw on his mana pool for the entire time. How long have you been here then? I've seen literally thousands of sunsets. I'm I lost track of time. I'm going to ask your opinion then. Would you bear a possibility of us going and searching for this possibly immortal figure? The possibility of finding him or her. The tree interrupted you when you said immortal and said no one is immortal in this realm. Then it sounds like the best option for us is to destroy you. But if you don't know what pain is... I, I don't now. believe that I will experience any pain. I just will experience... 
being somewhere else. I relate this. No, I kind of want to fuck the tree up. Yeah. Not going to lie. So, true Zen would have done this a couple turns ago, so I'm just going to do it now. Okay? Fire. Yeah. I'm going to cast fire and say, this actually is going to hurt me more than you this time. Oh. 18 is a crit for me. The tree lights up like the 4th of July. And the voice in your head starts screaming. And says, oh god, please stop. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it doesn't do anything like I that. wouldn't have stopped no. anyway, so yeah. go ahead. <laughs> no. uh, the, the, the voice, the, I, I just thought it would be really funny. No, the, the voice is not screaming in pain at all. The voice is literally relaying like, as if someone is very curiously just examining themselves burning. Oh. Like, this is weird. <laughs> Basically, the... It um, tickles. Yeah. yeah the, the, the enchantment it says, yeah, I'm, I'm experiencing no pain, but the flames are more beautiful than I could have imagined. What a weird motherfucking tree. Yeah. yeah. It has no connection with the physical body of the tree, so it's basically so like... like be with you, tree. It can see... I sense it. things magically, and it's intelligent because it's a reflection of the caster from the time it was cast. So it can have conversation. It's aware, but since it doesn't have like an actual like, it's enchanted to this tree, which is a physical form, but it's like the enchantment itself doesn't have nerves connected to the tree, so it doesn't feel anything. It's just like this is gorgeous. I because, want. oh, sorry, because specifically, I forgot to, to mention this, the magical energies of the tree and the enchantment are actually mixing with the flame, making a different color flame. This flame has a bit more of a greenish tint to it. So it's like a green gold fire. And to you, since it's saying that it's more beautiful than it could have imagined, you know that the caster, since it's a reflection of the caster, mm -hmm has never seen that color of fire before. So that's what the caster would have said if the caster is here right now. And I'm relaying all this information to you because you're smart enough to be able to disattain all of that. I think you just rolled my intelligence uh, stat and I didn't even know it. <coughs> you rolled a 20 really when you initially were examining the tree. Yeah. Um, huh. So fast forwarding, after a while the green flames... Uh, hits the dewy ground of the wood and there's a, a large pile of um, ash and the green flames slowly lick away and you don't hear anything in your head. There's nothing there anymore. I say a prayer of the forest before I leave. For it. If that such a thing exists. I'm going to do that. I'll join you in that. You do your little hoof thing in the ground. You can't knead, yeah. even though I'm doing the kneading. Ooh, he's but you eating. Kind of, like, well, while, I was doing, while I was doing the, the whole, yeah, thank you for remembering yeah. that, I like, dug it back and forth to like, yeah. get the, the dirt the into and the curves of the hooves. Yeah. Yes. And you kind of bow your head and you... It, I, I imagine you're doing like a silent sort of prayer. And then I take Toshi's hand and I'm just like, I'm gay. And you're just like, okay. <laughs> That's true. Yes, I'll pat you gently then. And I leave. <laughs> there are no words, but you do feel. Um, what's the word I look for? A disconnected magical energy still here. As if it's just like floating magical energy. Like uh, remember in uh, Final Fantasy VIII, where, where there was like a you were able to draw magic from just mm -hmm. like a random point in a room. It's kind of like that. Like this, there's just like this magical energy spots, rich magical energy just there, and it's you can feel it kind of just like moving around because it doesn't really know where to go or what to do. I draw. You don't have the draw ability, but... I draw. Um, <laughs> 13. After a moment of feeling it move around, it 
takes a very pale green form. And you can sense it coming closer to you. Should we be worried? I don't think so. Unless we're about to get, like, effed up by a forest spirit. I will run away like a gigantic bitch. I don't care. I wait till the count of five to see if anything changes. Does it? Five counts pass, and it is remarkably close to you. And it's... it. You have a very peculiar connection. You can actually sense what it wants to do. What does it want to do? Wants <laughs> to do. <laughs> it wants to attach to something on you. Your dick. You feel that it is... I pull out my goat dick. Yeah, you feel that it is it still... <laughs> you feel that it is still, still lonely and wants a new home. My, my short staff of ice doesn't have one of the holes anymore so I filled it with the uh, <laughs> one, one of the little cavities that I put the material into yeah suck it I don't Trevor have I believe any... wants to say something yes Trevor can I score it in my small cooking pot uh, it's not really attracted <laughs> to you <laughs> it doesn't swing that way no. I'm too much giant for it to handle <laughs> yes oh my god um, I put my staff out to see if it communicates with the staff. The magical energy is almost pooled entirely to the ground at this point when it gets closer to you. Okay. And it's slowly, like, you know how, like, if you were to, like, gust wind at, like, at, like a gaseous body, how it would kind of, like, swirl up a little bit? So it does that when you hold the staff out. It goes underneath the staff and it kind of swirls up a little bit. And the green energy is now infused inside of your staff, changing the color of your staff to a pale green. This is weird. It is. It's also very metaphysical. Um, it's so metaphysical that you feel really good saying metaphysical. Yeah. I kind of want to put ropey on it, but ropey's put away. <laughs> I just realized you, you did roll a 20. Man, I'm gonna fuck, fuck that 20. Um, I'm going to say you don't need a scroll of identity. Okay. Um, when it's in your staff, you have no connection to it anymore. Mm. You feel that your staff is magical, because it is, but that like sensing what it wants... And that attraction between you and the spirit is completely gone. It's it's as if the spirit just doesn't even exist anymore. Is it because I did something wrong, or is it because it's now where it's supposed to be, and so it's gone silent? Or can I not tell? You can't tell, frankly. I looked at Big, and I'm like, I fucked up. I stabbed it with my stick. I pat you on the head, careful to avoid your horns, and just say, Big. <laughs> Big. I feel like you're Groot. Trying very hard not to laugh <laughs> at your spine with every hit. You're Groot comforting Rocket. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. What does it do? The staff now. It can absorb a nature-based attack. Like... When I'm being targeted by a nature thing, I can absorb it, like not receive damage, or like I can learn a nature thing aimed at me by absorbing it and learning it. Not learning. Okay. Like if a hostile nature magic is targeting you, it will be absorbed into the staff. Wow. Damn. It can only hold that one spell though. It's kind of like the mirror shield. Yes, actually, it's very similar to that. Okay. I feel guilty about having the spotlight for so long, and I look at my fa- my friends, and I'm just like, please take the lead. I will follow you now. <laughs> Jesus, take the lead. So there are... Um, there are new paths that open up in the dark wood since you guys have rested. And you realize that the dark woods are extremely active and very alive. 
because these new paths you did not see before, and the old paths that you saw originally are not there anymore. So I now we're paths. stuck in Fangorn. What? We're stuck in Fangorn Forest. Fangorn. You, have, you have a good idea of basically how, like, of how to get back to the underground passage from where you guys came. Uh, because it was like a, along like a small cliffside, and you can still see the cliffside through the thick, through like the thickets and whatnot. Um, however, there's no clear cut path there anymore. There are new paths. How many paths? Uh, it's basically the same trail. Like, it's it's basically one trail, but it cuts like through like where the tree of Inifus was. So you can either go... Like, if you're facing the tree, you can go left or right, basically. Mm. But it's all basically part of the same trail. Or at least it looks that way. I vote right. I vote right. Well, if... You... Right it is. <laughs> yeah. Right sounds good. Okay. You go to the right. Um, it is morning time, uh, and the, f- uh, the, the, the woods are quiet, so it is, it's, it's basically just kind of like damp and cold and very quiet, um, the morning light is being, uh, shrouded for the most part because of the thickets, so it's a little darker than what you would imagine a forest to be in the daytime, and, uh, you're strolling along. And you see two um, pale... No, 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 I'm sorry. <sighs> I fucked up. I'm so sorry. It's actually a bit of a spoiler. But you see a large uh, patch of dirt neatly cut into a square with a large rune on it off the side of the path after a short distance. I approach and try and get a closer look at this rune. The rune is very similar to the one that you saw in the stony field. Oh, I forgot all about that. My stupid brain. Uh, guys, what the hell happened with the rune of the stony fields? Do you remember where we found the crazy stairs? I'm talking about when you used a patch of ground that looked very much like this as a teleporter okay. to get back to the road. Oh, so it's another no. gate. Fuck's sake. Another portal. Are there torches like like the other one was? Unlit. That's why I messed up when I said two pale lights. You must light them. Because they're, they're not. They're not. That's so I've, acted one, uh, I've activated one before. You guys want to take a turn? I'm sure. I don't have anything I can do that, though. I, I think. You literally I, step on it. I'm going oh. to... Well, yeah, go for it. Um, I step on it. Not like I'm particularly magical. See if it happens without the flames. You step on it. Oh, God. And you, <laughs> you disappear into oblivion. Ah. <laughs> no, you step on it, and then you, you feel a very strange energy as if it wants to pull you somewhere. It's and, a quirky. Yeah, and it's <laughs> like, even though you're not magical, you get the sense of all I have to do is really, like, think of... Uh, a place connected to this, and I and I would end up going there. Like you, like the magical like pulling yeah. sensation is so strong that you're just like, I can just go there. Like you're, it, it's it's very um, unnerving to have so much magical energy being f- like flowing through you right now. But at the same mm-hmm. time, it also feels very safe. Does it have to be a place you know? Um, it has to be a place you it's connected to. Previously traveled to. Oh. So be a portal, right? your options are. The stony fields or the rogue encampment. Hmm. We have to go to the rogue encampment anyway to drop off the bark. Cool. Let's do it. Do we want to do that or do we want to go futz around the woods a little bit more? Or was this the end of the woods? I think there's another path. There's it's 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 not the end of the wood. The, the path keeps going. And then there was also the left path that you were able to take at the tree benefice. I okay. per- I personally think we should head back because we have the objective. It's quite possible she'll tell us to come back to this spot to keep True. going, so. Alright, fine by me. Fine by me. I push Toshi over as she disappears. <laughs> I'm a boy, and don't push me, I will shake you. Toshi disappears, 
And the two lanterns light in a pale blue color. Did the rest of you guys follow? Yeah. Yes. Definitely. I actually do a little bow. However, I don't think that she announced where she was going. I did. I would assume okay. to go to the okay. camp anyway. Actually, thanks for listening. I'm, thanks. I'm the one that has the bark anyway. Mm. Okay. So when you arrive at the road camp, you, you see a Toshi who's kind of just like hunched over in front of the portal like, whoa. <laughs> I clap her on the back in a comradely fashion. And you're in the road, Kevin. Yep. As if no time back. has passed because oh. it's daytime and teleportation's instant. Isn't that cool? I'm listening. She's listening. Well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm done talking. <laughs> so that's, that's cool. I get over my nausea and I go to a car. <laughs> I follow. I follow. I start. I notice that they follow me, so I go a different direction. I'm kidding. <laughs> I walk to talk to. I lose my little satyr friend. I I walk over and talk to Weed. <laughs> so I ask him, "Hey, so what's up with your name? So why, why are you named Geed? Were your parents angry? Were your parents thinking like you're, you're pretty Geed guy? You're pretty Geed. You're pretty Geed. All right. You walk over to a car, and the car goes." Children. I my no. eyes. So she starts a conversation the way any person would start a conversation. <laughs> Wait, do you not? <laughs> <laughs> I always do that. Anyway. Cara. Good morning, young satyr. What's up? <laughs> I've been doing a lot of brewing lately. Brewing or I brewing? I, okay. I hear, I hear the bark. <laughs> <laughs> she said brewing. Lately. I know. Yeah. She takes the bark and goes, Ah, the tree of leaves. You can't prove that. <laughs> oh my god, Jeff. She paints her fingers across it. And you can see the bark is kind of changing into a scroll. She hands it back to you. It's a rugged piece of parchment. And on it... <laughs> Literally, Zen looks at this, thinks back at, at the spirit that was inside the tree, thinks of the fact that the tree's skin is bark. So what does that mean for the humanoid that was in it? Like, did you just turn his skin into... Oh, God. And he has this horrible horrible idea, because Tommy has this horrible idea. And I just, like, I'm not going to listen to that idea. I pay attention entirely to Akara. <laughs> Akara doesn't really say much in her old age anymore. <laughs> but she gives you the parchment and says, That should do the trick, dearie. And upon looking at it, the f there's five <clears throat> points. It's a, it's, a, it's a picture. There's There's five points, which you believe... Resemble the Cairn stones in this in this um, in this fashion, and so imagine like a five pointed star, mm -hmm. where the top point is going to be position one, and then position two, three, four, five going clockwise. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So the five points of the Cairn stones light up in like a just orange golden flame, but it doesn't actually burn the parchment. But, it, but they light up okay. upon viewing it. And it lights up. Three, one, two, four, five. I could have guessed that. We want to. Dangerously close to Spaceballs territory right there. Yeah? Three, one, two, four, five. The code to the shield is one, 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 two, 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 three. <laughs> Literally, the presidential code is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Awesome. It sounds like some, what some idiot would have in their luggage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just one second. I have to go check my luggage. <laughs> Literally, the president of Spaceballs comes back. He goes, amazing. This is the same combination I have on my luggage. Stupid. I love it. Three, one. Shit. Fuck, I forgot them already. Three one three, three one two four five two four five. Damn it! I had it right, and I second guessed myself. I'm writing it on my paper. 
That is very smart. I'm not. Akara then you. sees you guys discussing amongst yourself, 31245, and looking at this parchment. And she abruptly says, You must hurry and take this to the Cairn Stones to save Deckard Kane. Oh, that guy. We heard about him. I take it and I hand it to Toshi. I'm like, You better go. Not without my friends. That's a good answer. Mm-hmm. Smart survival skills right Come there. On, guys. But where's Becky? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> that would be interesting. Anyway, would Becky even play? Uh, Pro- I don't know, actually. <laughs> she even try. She even What's try. up? Can Akara identify magical objects? She can sell you the scrolls. Yeah. Her, <laughs> like, she herself cannot, in most instances. However, she can sell you scrolls, just like... Just like uh, How about. much does today cost? Twenty. One sec. I'll take six of them. <laughs> so that we never fucking run out again. <laughs> you hand her 120 gold pieces. Bring me down to 154. And she goes, Here's a half dozen scrolls of identity. Oh. I can't believe you came across so many items that need identification. <laughs> I say big, and somehow you guys can uh, construe that it means I anticipate we'll find more. Hmm. Oh, should I carry some? I relay that message and go, and he, we also need a seventh. <laughs> Just because. You make the exchange for a seventh and lose 20 gold pieces. Excellent. Now you guys have six plus one scrolls. Should we all uh, carry them? <sighs> like, Or do you want to carry all of them? <laughs> Got plenty of carrying capacity. I was going to say, I think Big really likes these scrolls. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like holding my person like Big. <laughs> Don't tell me the winning lottery numbers. <laughs> Don't tell me the winning lottery uh, I immediately use one on my opalescent buckler. Oh. Where'd you get that? You mean the item that I've been no. hinting at to be identified since, like, session three? <laughs> Pretty much, and we didn't have a goddamn scroll. Oh, you guys had a scroll. Yeah, I chose not to because I thought a defensive item was would be a waste to use it on because it was already going to be effective regardless of the yeah. enchantment. Because he, he just wanted it for the defense bonus. All right. The opalescent buckler retains um, its opalescent sheen as you identify it using the scroll. And it is renamed aptly to Faithful Buckler. Oh. It is... Na, 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 na. Unless you want to keep it as an opalescent buckler, that's fine. Ah, but Faithful Buckler is uh, pretty cool, too. It's still <laughs> two defense value, but its um, enchantment bonus is... You receive an HP bonus Ooh. equal to half your character level rounded down plus one. Huh? Two, half... Level rounded plus one down plus one. Yes. So I'm level five right now, so I would get plus three HP from it. Yes. yes. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Uh, I will go ahead and put the large axe of sundering onto my belt and re-equip squash and the faithful <laughs> buck there. Excellent. Hmm. Bringing my health to a total of 77. Whoa! So much HP. Would you like to share? I only have 32. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just keep doing the thing where I stand in front of you go, ow, 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 kill them, ow. <laughs> Can you stop kicking my trash? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into it, and then I proceeded to trip over it. I just really want to kick all the trash. <laughs> Alright. Congratulations. Chin. Okay. Chen. Akara oh, turns her back and begins brewing it. things and stirring things in a large cauldron. No. I go, hey, how much do actual potions cost? You know, good healing things. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so aggressive. I just, I've had a little... Not a self shit. A tree mind violated me. Self. Understandable. (laughs) 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 Oh, we've all been there, sonny. I've had tree 
Please invade my mind plenty of time. <laughs> These forests are alive, you know. <laughs> One time when I was 12, uh, no. <laughs> Let's not go into your history. No, please. I'm old. <laughs> but you look great. You're a while. Thank you. You're so nice, Skaven. I really want to fuck with her. She, fuck she with wanted her. to, like, pet you and then realize that she doesn't know where to pet a rat. Nowhere. Mm. On the rump. No. Not you. I'm saying on, on actual rats. Mm. The rump. Anyway. <laughs> the rump. <laughs> Just above <laughs> the... Is this rumpus? Yes. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it depends on the potion. HP potion. Mm, I've been doing a lot of experimenting Great. with potions. I'm sure you have, Granny. Yes. Sorry, that was Trevor, not big. I can sell you some of my experiments if you like. This but I don't crazy. promise anything. Don't do it. Oh, God. <laughs> Go on. What are the prices and corresponding potions? She hands you a very dim green, mainly puce colored potion. Mm. Should I be making these so that we can have like physical representations of these? Probably nasty. Okay. <laughs> I'll sell you this for 80 gold pieces. Do you have any idea what it does? I know what I put in it, but... I was going for some type of a health augmentation. It doesn't help oh, me. Oh, well, health augmentation. <laughs> <laughs> but are there any well, side effects, I, I don't know. <laughs> How do you not know? That's me. Talking. But I am incredibly curious to have a, a winning subject. I would be happy. I would be happy to volunteer my friend Big. Yeah, he's big, so... Like, I lean what? over and whisper big, and somehow Zen understands what it means. Ask for a discount. She, she actually lights up at the fact that big is interested. Uh, and says, I'm really curious to know what effect uh, it would have on someone of such stature. However... I'll give it to you for 60. Make it 40. If, if he drinks it. Make it 40. Oh, yeah, who's the dick? Press the dicker button. Oh, I rolled a one on dickering, Eight. so that didn't go very well. <laughs> Absolutely not, dearie. I'm sorry. Sixty was covering basically in case he dies. Entirely. No. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you want to pay for it? Or do you want me to pay for it? I'll at, pay for it. At Got eighty it. gold, I would have been making a little bit of a profit. He's but sixty, man. I think, is fair. All right, there's sixty gold, Jeff. Hand it over. She hands you this disgusting, <laughs> dim green, puce-colored potion, <laughs> and it is in actually a, a, a relatively nice flask. So that's nice. There you go. Am I supposed to be drinking it right now? She says, "If you want." And she looks at you very curiously. <laughs> just yes. do it now. Yeah, just do it now. Ooh, I'm scared for you, boy. She giggles excitedly. Oh my god. I, with this, this shit. I, don't care. I feel like this is Hama from the water the blood bending episode. No. <laughs> oh, look good. I don't like that. Now I'm concerned. You do not feel any immediate effects. But she does quiz you. She goes, How do you feel? <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of belts loose. How did it taste? Uh, what did it taste? taste. <laughs> What'd you say? Keep in mind, Big eats like anything, so he's like, Big. Hmm. Excellent. She picked the worst test subject. I'm not going to be able to tell her shit. Oh, yeah. Do either one of us speak Big? <laughs> sort of. We dated once. Right. So she talks to you, Zen, knowing that Big has limited vocabulary, and... Uh, she wants a report back on basically like what the effects of Big will be since you're traveling with him for the next 20 or sorry 48 hours I go up to Big really close and I say I can literally tell her anything because she doesn't understand you should I lie or tell the truth <laughs> oh I tell I sternly tell you not to lie he says there's no immediate effects currently active within him but it did make him a bit burpy. <laughs> That's to be expected with the fizz bottle I put in there. Yes. The fizz, <laughs> the fizz bottle? 
<laughs> That's cute. You carbonated it for no reason. <laughs> That's cute. It was for texture. That was the word Coca-Cola. For drinkability. <gasps> Speaking of Coca-Cola, I didn't even do my freaking fake advertisement like I like to do. Well, it's never too late. Ads no. always appear at the most ir- irritating times. They do, anyway. especially on your podcast. True. And it's always okay. two volumes. I don't above. have I don't have a Coke bottle though with two me because I want to do Coke now because you mentioned Coke. Let me look me. in Tommy's fridge. Okay, cool. There's no soda. <laughs> okay. Well, fuck. Okay, not. so let me pick up um, uh, my Dutch uh, Brothers glass. I pretend that's Coca-Cola. This episode of V&D oh brought to you by... What? Go on. This episode of V&D brought to you not by Dutch Brothers, but rather Coca-Cola Classic. <laughs> Enjoy responsibly. Te gustaría Coca-Cola Classico? Si o no? Si? Muy excellent. Eh? Coke. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Made it more complete. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, you're <laughs> Me gusta mucho. Me gusta mucho. Muy azúcar. No mames. Diabetes. All right. Diabetes. So, um, a, a car seems very fascinated with Big being here, but meanwhile, she's also very much like. diabetes. I hope Deckard Kane is still alive. <laughs> Yeah, we should go try to find that guy and quit fucking around here. And, and, <laughs> oh my god. Just to piss her off, I go and try and sell some old equipment. <laughs> Good. Good. Who do you go to? Uh, the, the blacksmithy chick, the one who was all distraught. Okay. Charcy greets you guys warmly. She's like, Hi, Charcy. She says, Good morning. Charcy. Good morrow. Uh, you played a Scottish character before. Do it again. Mm. <laughs> All right, Lassie. There you uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sell my buckler. Not the opal one. No, the, yeah. the standard no, one, the one. Oh, oh yes. He goes, sure. Which is funny because we bought it from her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I did. Oh well. I'll go ahead and give you. Fifteen gold pieces. Me, I take it. One, four, nine. Popular go. Bye bye. Anything uh, else I could do for such a strong man? <laughs> I look at her just disdainfully. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's gay. I know, oh, but she's disdainfully. Didn't know that. Are we all gay? <laughs> no, I'm not. Gay. Oh. Oh. For once, I just, in, like, in this game, I just kind of, I just look her up and I just. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing sexier than being turned down. <laughs> Makes me want you more. And that's all I wanted to do. I'm, I'm good to head back. Oh, <laughs> okay. She's looking up at you like, I would love to see some, you know, big armor on such a large specimen. Okay. <laughs> I jingle the gold purse and basically go like. You don't have gold. Besides, I also have magical fucking chainmail on, so. Yeah. Ah, there's that. Yeah. Okie dokie. Are you joking? Where would you all like to go? What do you think, guys? Back to the Stony Field or back to the forest? Did she give us a destination? Yes, the carrying stones are located in the Stony Field. We should go there. Oh. Very sorry. What's <laughs> We go back to the forest because that's obviously where the Karen Stones actually are. She's old. She doesn't actually know. Of course. Civility um, is a cruel thing. <laughs> so we go to the Stony Field. I'm, that's my vote. I don't want to say that that's actually what we're doing. I'm good with that. But I'm going to step into the portal and just go. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to be behind At this you. point, we expect it, and we walk to the portal with no communication and do the exact same thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> yep. You all appear at the Stony Field. Same time of day. Um, still kind of cold. It's a little warmer here. Less misty, less dewy. The sun is actually pretty blinding because it's like late morning, so it's still like... It's not like directly above you, so it's like... You know, if you're looking at the sun, you're like, Ugh. yeah. Ugh. You all, you all know the feeling. Oh yeah. It's like driving on a, on on a straight road, going uphill facing the sun. 
Oh, Auburn. Got it. Especially that slope right by Staples, like on the left. You're just like, oh, well, the sun's going down, I guess. <laughs> well, like really no oncoming traffic. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm in the oncoming traffic. Mm, it's iffy, but. Well, you're here. Excellent. Thank you. Um, does the, uh, the the little parchment thing we got from Akara give us any indication as to direction? Yes! I was just about to say, you feel, yes. well, not you feel, but Zen feels a pulling on the parchment. Oh. Well, well. I say, hey, don't you feel like there's a pulling on the parchment? <laughs> See, he's got it. So if you were to follow the pulling, it would take you down a path for a little ways, but you realize that the pulling is actually going to lead you off trail for a little while. Oh god, guys. Oh my god. Ready to throw balls to the wall? Yep. I have we're balls. like the ants from Bugs Life. Frickin' leaf falls in front of the line and we're like, I'm lost! I'm lost! Yep. <laughs> Good movie. Uh, does Zen want to take the lead since he has the parchment? He says, I'm scared. But yes. We're here anyway. with you. It's okay. And I go, and I activate sleet, but then I'm just like, wait, no, I don't. And I turn it off, it's and I reactivate it. Just like, yes, I do. Then I turn it off again and realize I just burned through 12 HP, or MP. Fuck. And then I activate it again, I'm just like, this time for sure. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I go. This time for sure. I go. This time for sure. 18 MP. 18 MP later. Um, I go off trail, follow the pole. That's almost my entire As you go down the trail, it starts to pull you off the trail. And as you're walking off the trail, you see a very large, grotesque looking nest. Uh -oh. Kind of attached to the cliffside that you um, understand is the cliffside. Like on the other side of the cliff is like the deep caverns of the underground passage. So it's kind of like against that wall, so to speak. I don't understand. I'm 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 doing a poor job explaining this. I'm sorry. So as you go off the trail, you start heading towards like a cliffside. Okay. And going up cliff, or going down. Well, you're approaching a cliffside, and the cliffside's going up. Okay, okay. Yes. And on that cliffside... <laughs> like looking up <laughs> at this thing. No, nation. I know. I just, I, it's, it looks like you were looking up at it, and just like, it's not actually there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so this, this, this jutting cliffside, this coming up, you understand, like, in that cliffside is the underground passage, just because you're familiar, you've been in the Sony field before. But against the cliffside, on the outside of the cliff, as okay. you're approaching it, because okay. you're going off trail now, there is a large, kind of like living-looking nest of some sort. Oh, very no. large, and it's on the side of the cliff. It's a good place to get oh, trapped. Oh, those fucking things. Guys. Sorry, I know those from Diablo 3, and I hate them mindlessly. I don't, but I'm concerned with the... Uh... It seems to be kind of... Let me pull setting a little bit. I use the scroll of identification on Big's mind to talk to Trevor and ask him, what is he talking about? <laughs> uh, I think it'd be a little... Fuck it, I don't care if I'm meta. Uh, they're, they're basically nests of, of smaller, weaker enemies. They're usually very plague-related uh, stuff. Hmm. Hmm. But knowing him, him knowing that you knew that, he might have replaced it with, like, golden insects that, like, turn us to gold. <gasps> like Midas beetles. I, my character doesn't really want to get back against the uh, cliff face in battle. But thankfully, I am the sneak. You are the sneak. The sneak. <laughs> hey, Jeff. What's up? Could we all perhaps roll some kind of check to see if we recognize these things from previous adventures? I believe that you would just... Do it anyway and not ask me. Okay, we're gonna do you it can anyway. Attempt to. We're gonna do it anyway. I rolled a two, so. This would be a lore check. Five. Natural 20! <laughs> you have experienced very similar nests uh, having come from the dry steps. 
<laughs> or uh, north of the dry steps, I should say, because it's Scotland, yeah. 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 So you're you're familiar with these sorts of nests, and you know that these nests are um, usually home to um, like large crows. Are they usually hostile? Um, a bit, yes, but you're also um, um, you also understand that this nest is very different from the nests that you've previously encountered. Usually, large crow nests like this, or they're not exactly crows. I don't want you guys to picture crows. Like, I, they're crow-like. They're ravens. Yes. The three eyeballs. But these uh, these nests that you've experienced <laughs> in the past don't normally, like, pulsate disgustingly like Ew. this one does. Ew, I don't so like it. So you're, like, you're thinking, like, well, we've been coming across some pretty demonic shit, so maybe these are, like, Demonic crows? Uh, and good luck verbalizing that to the party. <laughs> uh, because I'm in a, my, my inability to articulate, I will say that Big uses a new word. Okay. As he taps Zen on the shoulder, points to the nest, and says, Burn. I'm so startled by him using another word. That I just stare at him for a minute. I'm just like. Oh, you said big, but like in a different dialect. I'm just like. Big? Like confirmation, like. He's still in there? He doesn't like whatever it is. This is gonna be fun. I sneak. Oh, four. What's your dex? My dex! <laughs> Six. 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 Sex. You're going to have sex with me. No. <laughs> Not you. Fifteen dollars and a yes. Bitch yes. No! <laughs> Stop! Steve has become everything I aspire not to be. Uh huh. Oh. You're, you're a good guy, big guy. Alright. I cast fire. Because he said burn. So I'm like, do you know something? Fire. <laughs> Thirteen casts. You cast fire on the nest. And the hmm. the nest does not respond well to being set afire. Why? Because it starts pulsing a little bit faster. You're like, oh, good. But Did I successfully sneak? You are not sure. Jump. You're, you're still sneaking around as if you are snug. There's nothing that you can see that would have spotted you in the first place. So you're kind of like, I hope I'm sneaking. 11 burn damage. You do 11 Bird damage. Mm, coconut. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I tell you not to do anything involuntary, but hey, it's your house. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, baby. Ew. <laughs> now, mm. you believe that Big gave you some good advice because it's weak to fire. Good. So it yeah, actually... That was a shot in the fucking dark. I had no idea. Okay. It actually takes 17 and burn damage. Excellent. Yes. Congratulations. The nest started pulsating pretty violently when it was uh, set afire, though. And you see three. Count them. Yeah. Three foul crows exit the burning nest. Uh, so we've got some foul, foul coming at us. <laughs> yes. Nobody saw that shit coming. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. I'm about to look at Big and like, it, like, be mad at him for telling me to do this. But then I realized, no, I, I should have done this. And so I turn back to the to the foul, foul, and I'm just like, fuck. The three crows advance at you guys at a at an alarming pace. Four. Dark wings, dark words. Big, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to... Can I see if they are going towards a particular party member? Yeah, did they, they see me? They are advancing <gasps> towards Zen. I cast... Shocking nobody. Frozen plane! Minor action. Cool, it works. 17. That crits. <laughs> that fucking turn. crits. Jesus. You activate frozen plane. Thank Congratulations. You. For the They're... fourth time. They are now <laughs> advancing at you at a much slower pace. Okay. I would like to, if I may. Sweetie? Welcome home! Yay! 
Or if that's you went to Westwood. I may hold my action to taunt sure. once I know that they're going for Zen. Okay. <clears throat> you hold your action, say your ground, and stand in front of Zen, basically. Um, yep. And Sweet. you are still okay. sneaking. Okay. Um, are you going to hold your ground, or are you going to advance toward them? Or are you going to, like, throw something? I'm advancing. Excellent. In my, I guess I'm sneaked. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. State. Man, I hope. I hope I'm snuck. <laughs> Otherwise, I look like a dumbass. You just walk. You got the side like. Ring, ring, ring. I just shout. Looking good, Toshi. Shut up. <laughs> oh, wait, can my party members see me? Uh. Mm, that was pineapple. That was good. I'm gonna say, you rolled a four again. Yes, they can see you. Oh, well, I rolled a three. So. <laughs> Okay, they can't see you. <laughs> I don't roll, so I'm just like, I'm good, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, looking good. It's funnier than I'm clueless. No. Okay. The three foul crows... It's funnier because you're not clueless in real life. ...are about to pass... ...are about to pass by big. Meaning, yes, they're definitely going after Zen. Bang! Bang on the shield, and they start making lots of noise and taunt them. As you taunt them, they turn around and start to go after you. However, they are slowed and don't have initiative. So, everyone basically gets a chance to attack. I'm going to give initiative to Toshi, though. Uh That's cool, yo. And because she she was advancing. How close am I to them? You are exceptionally close. However... You realize as you're approaching them that they are aware of you. Fuck. YouTube, I'm sorry for that, but that was licorice flavored and I refuse to digest that. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I don't blame you. I would I would have made you, lots you of you noise spit it back and carried mouth. on. Mm. I stay away from anything that even looks black. It's either blueberry or licorice, and I, I <clears throat> blueberry is so good I'm willing to take the risk. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> How close am I to that stupid nest thing? Uh, about a, a, a turn away from it. Like you'd have to use a major action to get there. I'm gonna do it. I'd like to actually make sure it's destroyed. Otherwise, I feel like more things are gonna crawl out of it if this is like every video game ever. Okay. That's actually a really good point. I didn't think of that. So I'm gonna go over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna take nest. care of that. I'm gonna death sentence it. See what happens, and then probably fuck its shit up a little. All right, two twenty. Look at that. You advance Shoot. towards the nest very quickly. Okay. And you're and you're not stealthed, so mm -hmm. you, you you definitely will, will, will be getting there. We cannot attack it this turn, but you will be getting there very soon. Uh, big. Since you taunted Worth and have it. initiative, you may attack first. Worth it. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use a slam on. Do any of the crows look like they took any of the damage from the fire that hit their nest? No, they are unscathed. Then I pick the one that is directly between me and Zen, I'm okay. going to say. Sure. And I'm going to use Slam. All right. Slam. That is a... Oh, fuck, it was doing well. That is a 13 after my attack bonus. You hit. Cool. So, melee attack... So that's 2d4 with the mace. 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 4 plus Four. 1 is 5 plus 7 strength is 12 damage with the mace. You do 12 damage with your mace. Oh, sorry. I didn't add. So is it strength and a constitution that's a slam? Yes. I apologize that it is 19. You do a whopping 19 damage to the crow. And Ooh. slam its dumb bitch ass to the ground. It's dumb bitch ass. Like, it's sprawled on the ground? Like, we'll have to take a turn to get up? Or do you mean, like, it's just... It's knocked to the ground. Crazy. Like, it is a flying creature that has been knocked to the ground. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, was it stunned? Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, by being knocked to the ground, it is definitely oh, yes. been stunned. And it has been oh. slowed. Yes. <laughs> Tommy. Oh, I, I wish you could step on it. I forego that one since I'm just like, eh, you're no harm to anyone right now. Um, and I cast. Hold on. <laughs> I 
I cast Ice Coffin on one of the other two. Okay. 20 is another crit for me. How much damage? So... Uh, 9, 11... Oh, wait. Half of 9 rounded down is 4, so 13 plus 2 is 15. 15 plus the 8 is 23. But I feel like that's too low. Why do I feel like that's low? Hmm, I don't know. Ice, ice cough is not a very damaging ability. It's, it's hmm. more and it'll proc season. again next turn if it freezes. Or 23. You did 23 ice damage, and it is coffined. Does it fall to the ground? Yes. <laughs> yes. It goes dink. <laughs> dink. And it is in slightly worse condition than the one that's knocked out. <laughs> As my minor action, I look up the third one, and I just shout to my party, One more. <laughs> I really thought you were going to be like, You're next, no. <laughs> All right. Enemy phase. The yeah. nest takes an extra 17 damage and is no longer on fire. Nest. The one in the ice coffin goes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the one that was knocked down uh, recovers on the ground and flaps its wings to get back airborne again ah! and does not have a turn left to do anything other than kind of reposition itself to attack. And then the third one is still taunted and attacks big, especially because it knocked its friend to the ground. Mm. Oh, he's pissed at you. Oh, yes. And big's uh, defense is currently 14, by the way. Well, fuck you. I just rolled a 15. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a successful hit. And it deals... Okay, so you're going to take hmm. <laughs> you're going to take three physical, okay. which is reduced to what two for you mm. or one? That's reduced to one. Okay, so you take one damage, but you Ow. also gross. no. Oh, oh my god! I'm sorry. I forgot to give the the, the the bonus damage to this guy. I'm very sorry. So you take five. My apologies. I, after the damage reduction. So, you take five physical, and then four poison damage. Uh, does the poison count as a second thing, or is it all included the same thing? It counts as a second thing. So, yeah, it, it would get reduced by Relentless. So, you take so, three poison. Uh, four, you said, so down to another two? Um... So it's going to be... Five physical. Five physical plus physical, less three. Less reduction, and then four poison? Yes. So it's... Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just going to tell you how much damage you take because things got confusing. Um, you take five physical, including reductions, and three poison, including reductions. Because I dealt you four poison damage and it got reduced by one from Relentless. You should be getting reduced by two. I have two damage reduction. You have... Uh, poison does not count as physical damage, so your chain mode does not protect against the uh, the poison effects. But Relentless does. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's okay. Alright, cool. Just checking. So you take eight, and then you'll take another three on your next turn, basically. Got it. That brings me down to 60 going. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, so that's that for the crow's turn. Uh, player phase again. Um... Toshi has initiative. Well, she's in the restroom. <laughs> so, how's your day? <laughs> so, how's, how's your day? Uh, okay. Got it. Uh, so, Big, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass initiative to you, good sir. Yeah, well, good coming, Doc. Um, you know what? Fuck these guys. Can I switch to the large axe as a minor action? Yes, as long as it's on your belt. Which it is. So now I switch to that, which drops my defense score down to 11 and drops my total HP down to 74, bringing me to 66 health. And then I fuck up the one that I hit. Okay. I will not use slam. This is just a regular strike. Okay. Please be my friend. 
That is an 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay, you do not double its defense, but you hit it. Woot. I will take it. 4d6. 1. Plus 6 is 7. Plus 6 again is 13. Plus 5 is 18. Plus yeah, 7 your turn. is your 25. Nice. You deal 25 no. damage after it just got up and recovered from being knocked down. And no. your axe literally connects with the crow in midair and then it. pins the crow so to the ground moves. as it is severed by your axe and dies. Yeah, so I attack the same died. one. No. <laughs> one is dead? Yes, Two one left. is dead. Don't uh, attack the frozen one. I'm not. I'm going to kill this nest. I was just about to say, you had an issue of bypassing to, to Trevor. So yeah, you may go now. And she's pissed at you. Yeah, she's so mad. Look how mad she is. She's just she steaming. Calm down. <laughs> Who is it? Is it Ryan? Is it Ryan? Tommy, I'm stop marinating down. the ca- quesadillas. <laughs> All right. Stupid. You, you have to be there. You, you, you find okay. yourself at the nest. It's no longer on fire. It's taking considerable damage. Okay. And still kind of like pulsating like... That's so gross! <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so you said I wasn't snuck. No, you are, you are not snuck at the moment. Can I try to sneak again? Disengage it. Or disengage? You can disengage it. But that, put, that would put me in sneak, right? Yes. Okay. I really want this to work. Eight plus six. It is successful. Oh, good. Okay. I, mean, I would like to death sentence the nest. Ooh, the ten. Before, um, I'm actually just going to count that roll as like a like check. As you go into sneak mode and you're about to death sentence it, you realize that you have no idea where you would put your vital mark on this. Because it's not a humanoid. It's a nest. So... Your character declines the idea. It suggests organic. Yes. It, well, it, 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 it is organic. It's just, it's not a humanoid. So you don't know, like, where to strike it for, like... You're trying to like, stab a squid in its vital yeah, spot. For, I don't know for, fuck a squid yeah, for, for a, um, yeah, for a, a death sentence attack. Damn so it. your own intelligence of your own capabilities, um, you tell yourself, you know... I'm not going to cast that sentence on this guy. Fine. I'll backstab it. With a 16. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to start humming it. 29. Uh, 29? Uh, you deal 29 damage to it, which um, destroys the nest. Oh, good. Thankful. Yes. Wonderful. Ah. Uh, as you slice it open, another crow comes out. Oh. But it isn't formed all the way. And it just sort of like goes, and like slides and hits the ground. That's disgusting. Joe. Yeah. It's okay. That was the grandparent. It was already dead. It's okay. like it's like it's like barely alive though, but it's not like ready to like fly yet. So it's just kind of like this like. Is it dead? No, it's not dead. It's just kind of like this okay. fucking um, horror scene just on the ground. I can't disengage again. No, you can't. I think I'm just gonna try to put it out of its misery. Offhand attack, 20. Dead. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm out of moves, I'm pretty sure. Put yes. in a minor major instant. Okay. Cool. Uh, you, you do have a minor. No, that was the offhand, right? Your offhand does not count as a minor action. Oh. It is part of your major action. I will begin to move towards the uh, other shits. Excellent. You move back to the party. But only get about halfway there. Okay. Uh, and Trevor already split one in twain, so... Is that twain? I look at the one that has not been frozen, and I'm just like... So. Do you want to build a snowman? I do this. <laughs> I saw it. And I saw it. I <laughs> cast Zap on it for 12 damage. Excellent. You deal 12 ice, right? Ice damage, yes. so... And it does not look pleased with the fact that it took 12 damage. That's too bad. I'm, I mock it. That's not nice. Something on the, along the lines of, like, I'm foul. I don't know. Amy <laughs> face. The nest does nothing, because it's dead. The one that was in the ice coffin... 
<laughs> did, it, did it get its 23 again? I was just about to get to that, but I Sorry. was interrupted by... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's banana. Oh, banana. Banana. Oh, 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 banana. This shit's bananas. Banana ramen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, it is, guys. I cannot wait to hear that part of um, the fucking video. Yeah, this. Um, <laughs> banana. Banana. The I dropped crow, a pencil. The, oh, darn. <laughs> so the, the, the crow that's on the ground thaws and takes the final 23 damage, which kills it. Ugh. And all that's left is the crow that took 12 damage by your zap. And it flies at you and strikes you. Ah! With, a poisonous, with a poisonous raptor like tail. That sucks. And I rolled a total of eight. What's your defense? Defense. Five. Seven. Ha, I hit defense. you. Actually, it's five now because I got rid of my shield. Oh, that's right. Get Terrific. Out. So I deal... Oh, sorry. I have, a sh I have a staff, so it is still seven. But anyway, it doesn't matter anyway. But it's okay. fine. <laughs> Look, I'm putting him back I deal in you rainbow you colors. Five, so five physical and four poison. Which is it broken fairy, into right? two? So yeah, it's broken into two, so it's four and three. Um, where I come from, we call that seven. <laughs> <laughs> so you will take three damage on your next turn. Mm -hmm. And big, uh, after you attacked previously, did you take an extra three damage? Uh, I did not because I just looked back over my page. <laughs> I have twenty-five percent poison resistance. You have twenty-five percent poison resistance because of the ring. I gave ring. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so, so you take uh, two. May I, may I only take two from that one? Still totally take the three from before since it's my fault. Yes. I didn't see it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can take two that damage. That brings me right down now. to 60 full wall. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Uh, player phase. Uh, Toshi, you are a uh, minor action away from the crow that just attacked Zen. Run. I'm Strike. making arc. Art. Okay. Um. Arc, art. And, uh, it's an enemy okay, I would like to slice and dice. Whichever one. Uh, is there one with more damage? There's only There's one, one left. left. Right before oh, right, he right, 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 scrapes, I shout, Don't show off! I'm going to slice and dice him. There's seven. You close the gap between you and the crow in order to slice and dice the remaining crow. And your roll is successful in its hit. Wow. And you can deal your damage. A seven hits a flying creature. Well, with her bonuses, it's... Oh, it's <laughs> twelve. That was uh, twelve bleed. Right. Oh, yes, that was twelve bleed. So you can add that to your standard damage. Which is 11 plus um, 2 is 13. So 13 regular damage and 12 bleed yes. for a total of 25, which kills it! Oh, okay, cool. I did stuff. It dies, in a, it dies in a big bloody mess as it falls to the ground really next to its other split partner. That's disgusting. Yes. That's sad. But I'm vigorously shaking feathers off of my axe. There aren't any feathers on your axe. Oh, they don't Just have feathers? Just blood. Lots of blood. Then I do that and accidentally sprinkle some on Toshi. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit there like... Congratulations. The party. Uh, you're all level five, yes? Yeah. Yes. Good. Well, this was a level four encounter, so you're going to get less experience. Well, food. Yeah, I know. I, know. I don't mean it. I'm just, I know. It's funny to complain. It bothers you. You all get 240 experience. What? Points. That's it? Yes. <laughs> cool. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to take this opportunity to go take a look. I attacked the darkness. The Oops. darkness feels hurt. Oh, another set of pens. Holy crap. I mean, Maybe we should drop them all. And they go. <laughs> And then eat a banana. <laughs> eat a banana. Why don't you eat a banana, you butthead? Z Z Z Z All right. Why do I have such gross HP? I have like 600... 5,663. So, like, not even... Your not. XP is 5,663. Yes. You probably gave me a joke point and I took it well, seriously. Probably. <laughs> I gave you a joke point or two in the other campaign. Well... 
And he's like, you take one XP, and she started crying. I'm like, yep, odd I number, started deal with it. Crying. And one is the worst odd number, so. Yeah, it's terrible. Because <laughs> it's nine away. Yeah. So. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I'm too <laughs> fine. I'm like, dark and mysterious. I don't care. I, I'm I Jenny. Dark and mysterious. I don't feel anything. I don't wear my heart on my sleeve. My horn? Oh, bam. I do <laughs> I wear my lungs on my sleeve. Ew. I'm a smoker. <sighs> Just occasionally, and not of serious. <laughs> oh, so, it's such a weird image. All right. That'd be really convenient, though. All right, guys. <clears throat> After the battle, you still feel the draw on your parchment, as if it is leading you. Oh, I would like to loot the uh, thingies. Oh. Seven. Oh. Mm. The dead um, So, nest through all the blood whatever. and flesh that was uh, just spread all over the battlefield... You don't find really anything of uh, use, with the exception of some of the foul crows' venom. Oh. Which you may vile if you like. I, I would like that. I would. Does it have any properties I should know about? It's venom. It's venomous. You, you, yeah, you, you don't, you don't know how how potent it is. However, you can gauge the fact that two of your party members were. Struck by this venom and are feeling like. Sorry, I'm not a healer, guys, but I'll keep it. Maybe we still have use for it. Like, it did we some damage. Make, somebody can make us an anti venom in the, in the village, perhaps. Mm. Okay, yeah, I bottle that and. Uh, is there any gold? No, no gold pieces. What the fuck? Just kidding. Just kidding. You're not really a bad <laughs> <laughs> I look really deep in the nest to make sure there's no gold. Like I stick my head in it. Yeah, there's no Those gold, guys. Those are really gross. It's like wiping your face off of blood. All right. <clears throat> it's in my fur. Do you continue to follow the parchment? <coughs> follow the parchment, yes. Terrific. 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 I'm glad you feel that way. The parchment guides you along the cliffside. So you're like just following the cliffside all the way to a very large cluster of stones. Oh very tall stones. And they are arranged in a five point star. What? I say What's up, Karen's? You, What's up, Karen's? You see it kind of at a distance because they're so large. So you're not immediately upon them at the moment. I shout Sup, Cairns? The oh, Cairns stones do not it. respond to that. However, you see at the base of the Cairns stones <laughs> several uh, blue-colored humanoids running about. Blue-colored humanoids? I suck the air so sparks? hard that I can actually retract my shout back <laughs> into my mouth so that I can say stealthy. Are they Smurfs? No. I whisper Rakadishu. <laughs> Uh, I sneak. Ooh, nine. Less me six. too. No, you not too. Five. <laughs> My powers. What are your What are your bonuses for sneak? <laughs> Should be nine plus dex. I have plus. power over sunbeams. Uh, <laughs> I bend them around me so I'm invisible. Six dex, five cunning. <sighs> Maybe uh, if I was a geo no, no, no cunning. Oh, dex so, check by six. Sorry. Okay, so. You get 9 plus 6 plus 6 then, basically. Yes. Excellent. So, 12. Okay, yeah, you're good. You're you good. feel very comfortable. Oh, thank you. You feel very confident in your sneaking prowess at this point. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Quite. Um, so, yes. Do you guys advance at the Cairn Stones? Mm -hmm. I do. If nobody else would like Yes. Them. I do, but I'm snuffed. Me too. Uh, Jeff? What's up? As we go, I'm going to switch back to the shield and, and mace combo. Okie dokie. You switch back to your defensive state. You're about 100 feet away from these Cairn stones. And as you're approaching, you hear the utterings of... Like, in the distance. And, like, several, like... And then the occasional, like... Ah. <laughs> Like, don't be around the bush, Jeff. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> and then some are saying, 
and then some get each. <laughs> some just going ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and when you put them together, it's like. <laughs> Oh my god, it's what? the old Budweiser commercials with the frogs. Yes, uh, yes. Why? Yeah. Sir. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> those, are, those are good commercials. I like those. Those are great. Alright. So, you are now um, within range attack mode of the Karen Stones. Um, Toshi is undetected. Hell yeah. However,. What? Big. You can't detect. Because oh, no. big is bigger than Zen. <laughs> so they see big first. And they all I would also like to be walking up just clanging my mace on yeah. my shield like a kid with a pot and pan. Yeah. The blue creatures immediately advance toward you. And there are five of them. And one I is one is notably glowing and is slightly larger than the rest. Uh oh. Glowing one. It means things. They are all moving exceptionally fast as well. Frozen plane is still active. Yes, it is. So they're moving at a moderate pace now. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give initiative to you, Toshi, since you are undetected and have the highest dex. For Damn your right. Leader. Damn right. Oh, no shit. Damn right, I'm a maniac. You better watch your back, because I'm fucking up this program. Sorry. Limp biscuit, don't, don't judge me. Yeah. I had thought you were quoting an okay. epic rap battle. No. No, it's a song called Break Stuff, and it's great if you're angry despite its low quality. <laughs> That's a Fun. really good description okay. of that song. Um, you're I would Daisy. like to make my way over there. Perfect. <laughs> cool. Eight. As you approach, you feel the little tiny scaping hairs on you stand on end. Oh no. I'm creeped out. Or electrified. Okay. <laughs> mm. Can, mm. I, can I attack any of them this turn? You cannot attack any of them this okay. turn. You are just advancing. Okay. You see them running at big. And you're like, perfect, I can flank them. Yes. Ha ha ha. The this glowing is, one, especially. This is so easy. I will get the glowing one. Okay, so you're going towards that, that one? Yeah. Excellent. Big. Uh, this is range phase, so there's still some distance between you guys. Uh, uh, I will hold my ground. Okay. And the first one that steps into melee range, I'm going to bash it in the fucking face. Alrighty. Do you pre-taunt? Or pretent, as they call it? Pretaunt. Man, taunt me is about to hit. Yes, I will ready a taunt. Okay. But I you're not, you, you're really not taunting right now, you're saving the taunts, this. right? What's that? You're saving the taunt. Don't, don't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I summon Shiva for three turns. Oh! While stealth. <laughs> so. You're not stealth. Good luck with that. But, yeah. I need Fourteen to cast. Okay. I was like, <laughs> is that like a two or something? <laughs> I still cast on a two. All right. You know if I can tell. No. No. Hmm. Not fucking. No. No. You start casting Shiva. Congratulations. Enemy face. Hmm. Not good. <laughs> oh yeah, with the screen being that close to you, also we probably look a lot bigger, huh? Uh, actually does not change your guys' thing at all. Oh. <laughs> now, if you grabbed the computer <laughs> there and moved it closer to you, then we'd be in business. Oh, oh man. man. Oh. <laughs> all right. Just on each one of your guys' turns, just grab the screen and hold it closer to you just for my sake. When you're looking at us, am I on your right or your left? My right. Okay. All five of them. Yeah. Yeah. Five. All five of them wish to attack Big and overwhelm him because they are like Jesus Christ. He's huge. They want. They, they feel the need to overwhelm him. Basically, bring it. So they he all have their little. The they all have their crude, curved swords drawn, and they're going to be slashing you up. Rakadishu. And they all go Rakadishu as they're attacking you. 
What's your defense? 14? 14. <laughs> okay, you got two hits so far. The big guy. And the big guy hit you. All right, cool. So three right. hits total. Three out of five still ain't bad. Yeah. We never found out what that potion did to you. No, we didn't. About an hour has passed since he's drank it. So you're you're you take seven, five, and ten damage, respectfully. So that's a total of five, three, and eight. For a total total 16. of sixteen. A total total. Yes. I heal him. Sure. With your good juju and positive thinking. Yes. And my chi alignment of the forest. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I believe that was all for the enemy phase. Uh, Toshi, you are totally flanking the big one right now. Okay, cool. Sounds great. Okay. I would like to backstab it. Thirteen. Success. Plus two, plus other shit. Okay. Plus all the shits, yo. All right. You deal twenty nine. Mm-hmm. Okay. You deal twenty nine damage, and immediately after taking twenty nine damage, a charged bolt of lightning oh. comes out of it magically. Out of what? Out of it. Like the entire creature itself oh. has like a bolt of electricity that's come out of it. Oh, that's not good. And it deals you That's 10 a, lightning damage. I should have death sentenced it. Do that to the other one. Oh, wait, did you hit the big one? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, the big one, okay. I get the feeling a death sentence would have caused the same thing, Jenny. It still might have worked. Then it would have been more worth it. We know that the bigger ones have a bit more resistances. And depending on whether or not he has uh, classified them as, like, mini-bosses, Death Sentence usually doesn't work on mini-bosses, which kind of sucks. Mm, that's true. No. But I still like to use it because... There's still a chance. Like goddamn... Okay, anyway, I'm just going to hit it with my offering. 15. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, excuse me, sorry. Uh, five... Wait, your offhand is a d6? I thought it was a, uh, you have a d4. Oh, weapon. oh, oh, right. Sorry, my bad. Sure, what you roll a d4? It was a five. Three. That sounds like a Chuck Norris joke. Like, okay. Chuck 14. Norris once rolled a d4. 14? Got a five. Yeah. <laughs> you have 14 more damage. It's 43 damage. And I, I disengage. And as you are disengaging, Hey. You were dealt. Ten more. <laughs> another three lightning damage. Six. Plus things. Six. Oh, uh, come on. No. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You, you just took a lot of lightning damage, so. Shiva's coming. Asshole. Yeah. Uh, big. What would you like to do? I'm going to go ahead and attempt to use slam on the big guy, even though I know I'm going to get... Okay. I'm willing to accept it. It's, it seriously sounds like either a creaking cabinet door closing, or it sounds like the, just the start of, like, like some sort of electric tool for a, go- for a garden or something. It's like... A... <laughs> the beginnings of a weed whacker. Yeah. What kind of doors are you closing? That's a three plus five. Haunted ones. A three plus five? Eight. You rolled eight on a slam? Ugh, you miss. Five. Bro, I'm sorry. Yeah, shit, I still blow the MP, don't I? Yes, you do. Shit. Fuck. But at least I didn't taunt. I had to taunt last turn. They all went for me, so. <laughs> Shiva. Shiva <laughs> arrives on the battlefield beautifully and gracefully as ever. And as I feel her presence about to come forth, I'm just like... Work with me here, and I shout. I shout, or push my hand out. And I'm just like, "Rocket, he show!" It's like summon her forth. 
very dramatically. Can I roll to see if I do that properly? Yes, however... It's a minor action. As you say Rock and Issue, the large one looks up and looks directly at you. Good. Twelve. With my impressive showmanship. Um, and... S- yeah. The, the, the large one like looks at you like... Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, two basic attack, uh, random target, so... Actually, a six is perfect for that. Or if you might want, you're probably gonna roll that, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Whatever. Um, yeah. Four. Key. And key is eight. Yes. That is twenty-three to a ra- to random target. You have twenty-three damage to the second one. I'm going to cast ice on the second one. Okay. <laughs> That is a 16. I thought it was an 18. That would have been crit again. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Three. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 15 ice damage. 15. Excellent. And it's already slowed. I was going to slow it again. And the 15. That kills it. Cool. So Shiva basically judo chopped it and then you iced it over and it dies. So there are four remaining enemies. Judo chop. And it's enemy <laughs> face. Judo chop. Judo chop. Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, I heard a rumor that they're making a new Austin Power. That was the what? rumor. I heard that too. I don't think they'll do it. I don't know. I'd be really happy if they. Mike Myers kind of disappeared after Love Guru with a good reason. He's making something now. It's some serious movie. I don't really? know what it is. I have to look it up. Oh. <sighs> well, world I'd rather have another Wayne's World thing too. He was actually supposed to be like, you know, the last Jedi. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So all the damage was dealt. Uh, you're snuck, so Dude. they don't go after you. Dude. You iced Dude. one, so they're kind of pissed. She can't be attacked. Okay. So actually. Rock and issue enga- still is still engaging you, big. But the three others peel off and go after Zen. No, they don't. You talk all three Actually. of them. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Look for my automatic automatic yes. response. They don't attack your buddies. No, they don't. <laughs> well, you take three more hits again. Well, only one no, of them fuck. missed you, surprisingly. Eight, six, and ten is reduced to six, four, and eight for a total of eighteen damage. Hey, hey, guess what? Adrenaline. I was gonna say adrenaline rush, right? All right, your adrenaline rush, adrenaline, adrenaline rush is now active. Put him a hold. Because I am at thirty-two of seventy-six. Excellent. Oh my god. Okay. Player phase. Player phase! Yes. It's your turn, Toshi. Player phase! Stop shouting and fucking playing. (laughs) Uh, Well, you know what? I'm down to 3 MP, so I can't do anything exciting. No, you can do. You can do so much. I'm going to come out of my disengage, which I shouldn't have even done, first of all. Whatever, piece of shit. And I'm going to keep wailing on the same one. All right. With my major weapon or whatever the fuck it is. Ooh, I got an 18. I believe that's... Oh, that's not a crit for you. Almost. That's very close to a crit, though. It's okay. (laughs) So that would be uh, 15. 15 damage. Yeah. Excellent. Hit him with my offhand. You were dealt 6 lightning damage after that. Stupid ass... Not you, him. Okay, <laughs> offhand, 15. Ooh, whoa, look at that. Right. Look at that shit. Look at all these nice. good rolls. The intensity of the response. Stupid ass! Alright, cool. Uh, 15 again. <laughs> nice. Uh, 15 again is... Alright. You, yourself, have done 73 damage to this guy. And oh. you take another 11 lightning damage. Oh, no. Okay. You're taking quite a bit now. 
Well, I'm, I'm worried gonna, for you. I'm gonna hit him again. I'm very worried for you. Oh, are you? Yes, because I've done so much lightning damage to you. But I wanted to kill it. How, how much HP are you at? Whatever 25 minus 17 is. Eight. Eight. Oh, that's trouble. Maybe I should use my minor action to get away. You have eight HP. I can't sneak, but I could just like. Okay. I don't know. That'd be like being a bitch. Well, you've already attacked twice, so you can't attack it again this turn. Okay. And you can't disengage. But no. you can minor action away or stay your ground. No, I'm gonna stay here. Fuck it. You! Like the real OG. She is really trusting you, Tanky. Tanky McTakerson. Oh, he has Shiva out, too. That, too. Uh, Only he's one AoE. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor. Uh, no, fuck this guy. Um, I'm gonna switch to the axe. Alright. Uh, dropping me further, so let me go ahead and doctor that kind of shit real fast. Bringing my defense back down to 11. And I'm gonna swing for uh, the big guy with a slam, actually. Damn. Slam, you're getting double yeah. constitution bonus. Uh, natural fucking 20. No bullshit. What? We... You slice Rock and Issue's head off clean. Oh, Rock and Issue. Oh, uh, that's that's that his name? Sexy. I don't even care that I wasted the That's end. why when he said Rock and Issue, he looked at him. Oh. You were dealt. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> you are dealt five lightning damage after so slicing good. his head off. Wait, wait, can I just, for my own satisfaction, I want to figure out how much damage that was. So nat 20, I presume that doubles his. Yes. With, uh, so with, that would be with your bonuses, it doubles. 5d6, which would be 30. Yeah. Plus strength, which would be, uh, oh my god, 37, plus constitution twice, would be... <laughs> like 51? 51 damage in yeah. a single hit. Yeah. Good job. I like it. So, cool. are we to assume his actual name was Rakanishu? Yes. He is probably the leader of these stupid things. Wow. One of. Am I right? You slice the head off of Rakanishu cleanly. He and dropped. I to his buddies as a minor. No, I already did a minor action. He dropped his curved dagger and stopped glowing immediately. <sighs> the other three. Oh no, what, why would I not? I don't need to do that once. I'm an idiot. Only one of the remaining three stay. The other two run away. I'm going to have Shiva react to all three, though, if she... Please, if that's okay. Yeah. But they're still labeled oh, as enemies. Wait. That did not write. I wasted a 19. Hold on. Go on. Six, motherfucker. Yeah. If you get proof, it's right there. <laughs> uh, Roll the damage for diamond dust. Diamond deuced. Three. Two. <laughs> Another two. Seven, okay, 17 plus 24 is 41. We deal 41 ice damage to the remaining three, killing all of them. And Shiva sticks around for another turn. Yes. I approach, can I do something, you guys? Yes, you I can. I just want to see how unbelievably fast that whole battle turned around. Once Rocky Nishu died and then Diamond Dust happened, it was just like, Damn, Nat 20, Diamond Dust. It was just like, okay, well, this is a totally different battle now, <laughs> as everything is dead. I approach Shiva and I ask, can you do me a favor? Can you petrify his head? No. And she probably vanishes. You but need to roll a d20. 15. Okay. Plus 9 magic. You rolled it in that 15? 15. On her last turn, she draws all the moisture out of Rock and Ishu's head. Oh. I'm like, thanks, Bay. And then Ew, that's petrified, alright. Did you just thanks, Bay Shiva? Yep. Nice. 
Nice. She's my girl. We go to bars together, talk about guys. She actually disappears DFS, and they miss. DFS Just... for life. I pick up the petrified head, throw it to Big, and go, trophy. <laughs> you receive Rakanishu's, not necessarily petrified, shriveled, shriveled leathery head. Shrunken head. Desiccated. Can I say desiccated? Yes, nice, absolutely. Bro. Good word. You I received Rock and Ishu's desiccated bubble. head. Also, how the fuck Rubber. do you spell that? R A K A N I S H U. Rock and Ishu's desiccated. 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 Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Doctor. I'm going to steal Jenny's normal thing and ask to loot. Well, you receive it. a bunch of frozen carver flesh, <laughs> if you wish, because of diamond dust. Um, and the only thing worthwhile to, uh, to grab is Rakanishu's blade. Uh, which was a dagger, yeah? It's a curved dagger. Is uh, it crude or is it like cool? It's, it's actually quality. It, oh. it is a quality dagger that Rakanisha was wielding, and it is labeled Ritual Dagger. It deals D4 damage, okay, and... Go ahead and write this, I'm not going to keep it. It deals 1D4 damage, and it deals a bonus 2 unholy damage on strike. Oh, shit. Hmm. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was cool, I think I will have that. Because why not? Uh, I stand off to the side now and attempt to play hacky sack with the head. How do you... <laughs> oh, big, he would. How do you spell rock and issue? Uh, I guess Jeff. R-A-K-A N-I-S-H-U I have a lot of daggers. Some of them are shit, but I need to just throw them and beat them. Oh, I also give Jenny a dagger. <laughs> I just love that so much. <laughs> I give him a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Here, this might assist you on your journey. <laughs> here's an extra dagger. I know you have many dagger, but here's an extra dagger. <laughs> Oh my god, dang. <laughs> <laughs> you could pick a different pencil. No. You could be helping your friends. I like this eraser. But it you works want proper. to you want to make kerfuffle. And many kerfuffles. Many kerfuffles. The game's almost over. Yeah, I was say we're we're gonna have to stop in the next like few minutes. No. Um, oh no. Alright. So after all the loot, you all receive. So there were four regular plus Rakanisha mini boss. 670? Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. It's actually pretty close. That's great. Um, How much? What? It's Sorry. It's gonna be... Uh, Sorry. It's gonna be me. Almost. All that I do is not enough for you. So I'm gonna give you 360 plus the execution bonus because that battle just 180 super fast. What's an execution bonus? Don't wanna lose We'll give you an extra 40 and make it an even 400 <laughs> experience points for you all. Okay. Wow. Uh, because the, 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 the nat 20 execution plus diamond dust immediately after was just like, well, there's no battle anymore. <laughs> there's still four people you can fight. This could go a certain... And there's three... And there's none. And there's none. <laughs> Suddenly there's well, none. Well, you still got four... And they're gone. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are about to fight Rumpelstiltskin. Don't feel bad if you beat... You. Okay, you beat him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, good session, guys. See you guys. See you oh, later. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was fun. I'm taking the pencil away. <laughs> that, like, you're not going to be using that one next time. That, <laughs> but it's a good reason. No! Erasers, but some of them are mummified, and I can't use that. <laughs> mummified. Uh, desiccated, desiccated erasers. erasers. <laughs> Desiccasers. <laughs> Sorry, Erasicated. I live. Go. Er Erasicated desiccators. <laughs> Sorry. I have 
children here. They're asleep. Right. Not anymore, but. <laughs> so Don't sleep that sweet. Yes. It's so dirty. I know. But the Karen stones are like right there. Okay. Three, one, two, four, five. You don't know which Two, one. Two, four, six, so one. Is. Oh. But after looking at uh. the um, the scroll of Anifus parchments, um, as they appear, um, you can see that the that the position number one stone has an intricate rune on it. And as you look at the Cairn stones, there's one with an intricate rune on it. So that gives you a place of reference or a point of reference. And then you're able to activate it in the three one two four five fashion, like you guys wanted to. And how do you activate it? Just for flavor's sake. With my keyblade. You don't have a keyblade. By peeing on it. Peeing on it doesn't work actually. Darn. Well, I have to pee anyway, so. Okay. Maybe it needs two of us. We do it again, and I I, I pee with him cross streams. Okay, no, man, you lightly cool. touch their stones in the order. I want to do it too. We can do the three penis musketeers. Wait, are we all? And each each of the stones light up as you touch them in the correct order. As the fifth stone is touched, a lightning storm happens, and Rue dies. And it strikes the Karen <laughs> stones in a very ominous fashion. <laughs> And then in the middle of the Karen stones, sorry. Yuck. And then in the middle of the Karen stones, a deep orange portal. Whoa. Appears. appears. And it's and it's like the ominous kind of like swirly Whoa. effect of a portal. Like it doesn't have like an actual shape. It's just kind of like walk through me if you can. Almost the as portal as to San Francisco. I think this is the perfect opportunity to rest. Session. for us to rest. Yeah, that too. Because I have three no, MP Tommy, and eight health. The perfect time would be to walk through the portal, see everything, and then rest. <laughs> You're like, wow, this is a horribly dangerous locale. So I'm going to go ahead and put... <laughs> I, I would like to end session by resting. You all rest outside of the portal. Right, underneath the portal. <laughs> and, uh, well, don't wake up in the middle of the night, because then, like, you'll just be in the portal suddenly. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, glorious <sighs> session tonight, you guys. This felt really good, because I've been having withdrawals. Yeah, we all have. I really want to fucking, I really want to continue this, this, this story. So we did rest back to full? No, I will cover that next time. Well, don't get mad. Get glad. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Whippy, 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 whippy. Yeah. Jesus Christ, guys, I'm at almost a third health. I have eight health, so. Well, don't let that trouble you. It's my own fault. Right? 25 out of 74. I have a fifth of my MP. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say let's do our usual goodbye. Okay. Three, two, one. Bye. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us again. Portable. Yeah, I, I, Portable I house. It's it's so weird for me because of like all the stuff like like all the like not twitching anymore that's going on. So I'm all like, hey guys, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I feel less stressed uh, out. But yeah. So yeah, this this works much better. Um, and uh, well, I don't have to say that like w when I'm going to post a video because by the time that they see this video they will have seen when I posted it because it's posted and uh, Rock and Ishio and it's funny to fuck with them yeah it'd be funny to fuck with them <laughs> I will be posting this video yesterday <laughs> they're like what alright I will be posting this video tomorrow they're like then how am I watching <laughs> Did you watch? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, I love you all, man. Thanks for watching. I, I really mean it. Oh, I didn't realize the people were gone. Yeah. I really mean it, guys. Yeah. And uh, be sure to hit the subscribe oh, no, button because I love you guys. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.